السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم My brothers and sisters, we are talking about the most important man, the most remarkable man, the man who made the whole world change and the most influential man to have ever been ever walked this earth, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his life. And I'm talking about his life in the light of his last sermon. It's called the farewell sermon. And I'm drawing 12 lessons out of the 12. Today is lesson number seven. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, be aware of shaitan for your safety of your religion. He has lost all hope in leading you away from Islam on major issues. So beware of, be aware of him or be aware of small things, of following him in small things. Brothers and sisters, this needs a bit more explanation, of course. Shaitan took a vow when he disobeyed Allah, when Allah told him to prostrate and he didn't prostrate, that since Adam was the reason for his downfall from heaven, it would become his mission in life to stray Adam to make sure that Adam and his followers and his descendants and all his children would never go to heaven. That became his promise. He waits for you and I in ambush. He wants to attack you and I from the top, from below, from the front, from the back. He can run through our veins, in our thoughts. That capacity of shaitan makes you and I vulnerable. But at the same time, Allah told shaitan that true believers will not be swayed by or persuaded by your evil whispers. In other words, you and I have the capacity to fight shaitan. Of course we have. We're human beings. We have a brain. We have intelligence. We're able to distinguish between right and wrong. We can say to ourselves, we'll do this or we won't do that. Unlike the animals, they don't have independent will. They don't have the capacity to independently determine and deduce what is right and what is wrong. They just follow. They're like sheep. Angels and us are different. Even the angels don't have independent capacity to think for themselves. Because Allah has given you and I a brain, He has given us a guidance called the Qur'an, and He has given us the most beloved of the Prophets of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the Prophet of Allah, as a guide, as a reminder, as a living manifestation of the Qur'an, Allah's will. We have no reason, no excuses to be defeated by shaitan. If we didn't have the guidance and if we didn't have a living example, then of course, you and I could make an excuse, but we don't have an excuse. Quran is our guide, emphatic, explicit, and not ambiguous at all, unambiguous in its moral and ethical teachings. And Prophet Sallallahu lived that life, and he proved and demonstrated that you can actually live Quran in your life, and you can have happiness of this world and the hereafter. His companions did the same. And many pious predecessors and pious people of our time and people of time to come will do the same. All the time, shaitan remains an open enemy. Allah says in the Quran, وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا خُطْوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ مُبِينٌ Do not follow the footsteps of shaitan, for shaitan is an open enemy to you. Right? If he's an open enemy to you and I, what is it that we do to protect ourselves from shaitan? What do we do to declare our enmity against shaitan? What is it that we do to fight against the whispers of shaitan? Prophet Sallallahu warned us. You see, brothers and sisters, shaitan's manner of attack isn't only limited to physical attack. It is through delusion and distortion. He makes believers, you and I, sometimes see wrong as right and right as wrong. He distorts reality. He makes people think what they're doing is right while all along they may be doing something wrong. 
is often self-fulfilling. Shaitan's task is to make you and I deluded. See and become steeped in our arrogance and our and self-aggrandizement ourselves of self-worthiness. We think we are big and huge and we are mighty and we are powerful. Actually, that's where shaitan comes in and deludes you and me. And Prophet Sallallahu warned his followers, you and me, to be aware of shaitan. But he did also say that shaitan will not succeed. Shaitan's influence will not actually overtake the true believers on major things. Of course, brothers and sisters, I know you and I don't drink alcohol. That's a big thing. You and I don't gamble because we know that's haram. You and I don't do things that are clearly evil. Prophet Sallallahu did warn that while you could be away and be very mindful of the big things, it's the small things that shaitan will try and encourage you to do. One small thing at a time. And it piles up and it becomes huge. Just imagine a small white lie, a playful but foul word, a joking fib, a tiny litter on the street, a dishonest gesture, small underhanded work, a small this and that. Shaitan loves these small things. Because you and I think they're not important. Ah, oh, it's okay, it's small. No, every small thing count. So the warning of the Prophet is, be aware of shaitan in small things. For he will take you away by inspiring you, enticing you, and inviting you to do small things thinking it's okay, it's not okay. I hope and I pray we can fight shaitan. We can protect ourselves and become really powerful and strong people. May Allah protect you and me against the whispers of shaitan and whispers of ourselves. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.